Welcome viewers, Shark TV. Now we're up to episode, this is episode six. Six. We got it wrong last week, and guess what? what? Five and zero. Zero. We're up, we're, we're going. We're up and about, aren't we? Me, you, Tomo, Robo. T Homo and Robo, you're a human. Who's Burns? Who gives this? Under nine noons. Uh, Kick to the curb, yeah. you lost. Burns, two. Yeah, seniors, two to Luke. How'd you go? I really liked getting there at about 11.45 yourself anyway. Yeah, same. So yeah, same. Same. Yeah. They were up and about, the lads. Brother Tomo. <laughs> he, was at a coaching, he was at a coaching course uh, today. Yeah. Was today I don't think he knows. Was he teaching everyone else? I was going to say, he had yeah. Malthouse and a few. He's just getting them back up to speed. That's how well he's going at the moment. He's a buckle if it's there because yeah. he's in more froth and bubble than <laughs> the world. Oh, is he what? Now, let's go. Far away with the under 19.5s. So I'll get it away. Right out. Okay. Uh, hillside. At 2 4 16, West Meadows 13 16 94. They've had 19 screenshots Jesus. of West Meadows lads. Uh, fair to say we got spanked and it, we didn't register our first major until the last quarter. And who was that? I don't know. Our furniture man. Mr. Berkowitz. Oh, Berkowitz. He, he kicked our whole score. He, two recliners. He kicked yeah, did he? Bang. <laughs> two recliners. Well, no, Gollum, I just, I just leaned back. He? Like he was in a rocking like like rock chair. Yeah. Just kicking them. So Berkowitz, our furniture man's kicked two. Best players, Teely, Kaylee. Oh, and wait for it. Here he comes. And Stroy. Yeah, it's about time, Stroy. Right? Right? Yeah, about time. Um, and uh, Oscar Brand did very well. Of course. As well. Yeah. Yeah. His mum told me. How many times she, did she tell you that? I lost count after 30. Yeah, oh, right. Anyway, Maybe. all good. Right. right. On to uh, the number one side. At yeah, the moment. For, uh, uh, Sharks have his first 18. Yeah. Uh, uh, when Yapper plays, it's first 17, is that that's right? That's right, absolutely. Never been a sure was bargain. And for those that are wondering where old mate Richard Cranium is... Yeah, Richard's, um, he's, had, he's had the week off. Didn't, didn't do his homework. No. No, off you go, son. Yeah. You'll You'll be been, back, though. You've been fired. Uh, Reggie's Hillside, 15 8 98. West Meadows, 6 3 39. Goal kickers, Izzy got a couple. Rocky got three. Fish got a couple. And it's a fairly well spread there, Carol from what I can see. There must be another misprint. Yeah, Zamo. How the hell is he kicking goals? Dunno. Dunno. He had two artificial limbs on. Someone took him down to build a bed to put some <laughs> new legs on him. He's, <laughs> he's keeping a elastoplast in business. That's how well he's going. Tape. Oh, Sambo. Wow. Both, both of his bumblebees tape right God. up. But uh, Shark TV's own got best on ground this week. He did, didn't he? Eh? Yeah. He's oh, Harry his, Charters. Harry Charters put his hand right up. Both yeah. of them. He's having a fair old crack. He's getting a few touches lately, Harry. He's been getting a heap From of touches. From all reports. Uh, heaps of touches. He's going all right. Yeah, he's going well. Um, I did see one dash. Off half back, he came out of the back, bang, and, and he, I saw him today, and he actually bounced the ball for the first time. He told me in his life, and it came back up to him. Yeah. Another bounce, and then booted it and probably ripped the hamstring. He probably thinks the cameras are watching him. I think it might be something else. Oh, anyway, Marazita, Brody, and in uh, old Hard as a Cock. Hard as a Cock. Good to see his name in the paper. He got up there again. Yeah, so good on well. And the seniors, well, <laughs> I'll tell you what. Who cares? Um, I feel like one of those um, olden day. Uh, poo card is I'll keep it clean. That's oh, as flat as we are. But we're not sore losers. No, of course we? we're not. No, we're no. not. So straight up, are we going to even... Yeah, let's mention the scores. Should we that mention that? the scores? Look, it wasn't that bad, was it really? Well, no. I watched the tape and it, was, it wasn't very good. Hillside Sharks, 13 10, 88 to the West Meadows Tigers, 16 10, 106. I'll tell you what. Down pretty much down on the day. Westy were there to play, so, you know, all, all credit to them. Hmm. Adzi Turner. Any shifty old bastard. I tell you what, Adzi, have, if you watch this show, well, look, everyone, everyone yeah, knows, I'm sure you does. do, but Adzi Turner, that sledge you gave him and <laughs> swore, and the umpire thought it was our bloke, and he got a fitty. I tell you what, yeah. mate, dip the lid to yeah. you, old son. Good on him, mate. He's got, me, he's got us all covered, didn't yeah, he? Yeah, did he? And, and, in, and, in, and in his cheap shot of um, Lucky Rainer with an open hander into the chops. And, and, but but Bernsey was, he was perplexed. He was perplexed. Oh, well, they probably have to explain what that means to him during the week, yeah. but... Because the term rule is if you give away a 50, you've got to come off. Yeah. He couldn't drag Turner. No. Over the other team. <laughs> What's he doing with that? He did call their runner over and said, there's any chance you can get Turner off the ground. <laughs> um, but you're right, Westy did come to play because they weren't travelling overly well no. at that time and they had to win that game to stay in touch with the final four. Yeah, so good on them. Well done. DC yeah. and, and uh, D-Mac, they went all right. No, they did okay, yeah. very well. But uh, don't worry, we'll be back. We're, we're going to come up to Willow Bank, Willow Brook. Willow Brook Reserve. Thank you. We'll get up to Willow Brook there in, in a few weeks' time and we'll, uh, we'll try and get one back on. Absolutely. Now, yeah. true words, now um, we only had a couple of multiple goal kickers. Jackson Volpetto kicked two. Uh, Andrew Papazoglu kicked two. And Brandon Beamer, Beamer's Boots, Coletta kicked two as well. Yeah. Singles go to Anthony Aioli. 
uh, Young Jack Burns, Vic Mick, Jez Hayes, Steele Nason, and Lucky Rainer rounds out the goal kickers. There's Carol. a lot of midfielders. A lot of midfielders in there, which means, you know, four line didn't function that well, but that's okay. We'll be back. We'll be back. No Patane on the weekend, no Ferrara. Yeah, that so didn't help. That's the upside. And I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what the other upside was, was that um, uh, West Meadows in the second quarter, I'll tell you what, they couldn't miss. They kicked nine oh. straight. And in our reply, we had plenty of supply. Yeah. One goal, seven in the third quarter. It just doesn't help. No. Bad kicking's bad footy. So they say. Yeah, so they Keep say. More goals in opposition, more times than not. Absolutely. Win. But anyway, I'll tell you what, we'll get back on the horse, and we'll go now, uh, <laughs> much to Strawny's disbelief, that the old cock A refused to put any best players in there. Oh, I, I could think of at least three who were pretty good. I thought Jackson Volpato was very, very good. I thought Dean Tessie was okay. Yeah, no, no, no. Um, what about, uh, oh, you, yes, you, you, yeah, you, I was, you, I was you, 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 his rotation work was unbelievable. Yeah, he's, he's, he's paper marking. Yeah, paper marking. Yeah. Yeah. That's about it, right? But, but BF had a couple of, uh, old, old F log had a couple of, uh, the hard ball gets and a bit of spoil work. I'll tell you what, I'm, I'm hoping that, I don't know that anyone uh, got any imagery, but he's got a new stance or a new, uh, I'll go from the side, when he holds the board because Burns has got a habit of saying, not oh, good enough and smashing the board, so he holds the board like and he's got the elbow tucked right in there once he got the board for a bit of extra reinforcement. Flog, that was hilarious. <laughs> now, enough of that scores, I'm done talking about so, the ones. No, footy, what is it? Off you go. Okay, from the top there. Doff's there. Just want to rekindle, go back to last week. It was you were challenging our team. How how are you even put the challenge into our team, the, the reserves, to, for them to win? Yes, I know. Uh, so, T. Hey, mate. Uh, thank you. Again. Thank you very much. You're five zip, and I'm back in the shit again. We're five zip, mate. Oh, we're sorry, five we're five zip. zip. Let me yeah, yeah. Chuck TV Zone 18. Yeah. Um, so, you and that imbecile Paul Stockman, you can work out what it is. We've got another punishment, but yes. Thursday night after selection. Yeah. We got one back. You know, you did, you did, you did. Uh, the boys got one back. So what we'll do is we're just going to get Joe to drop a little bit of, uh, oh, there's some bloody video there and a couple of stupid looking photos. Yeah. Um, but um, anyway. Uh, all we, we, we whacked it on the Twitterverse. We yeah. tagged old Hungry for Sport and they didn't retweet Yeah, we got a retweet. Uh, Harry Charles, we got a retweet from uh, old KB himself. Yeah, yeah. So anyway, the, uh, that, that's the end of it. That's the end of it. So uh, that's all, all, it's all gone. It's all shaved off. Yeah. And, um, the head just keeps getting ugly. Yeah. So Monty, oh no, you're back. Monty Burns was here for a sec. I don't know what was <laughs> going on there. Well, as Burns, he said to me, I've always wanted to be him. So they reckon I look like that bloke off The Simpsons. What's his oh, name? Uh, Monty Burns. Is that his name? He looks like you. I thought you were a bald headed eagle. <laughs> anyway, Joe, um, you probably dropped that video in there while we've been waffling on anyway. Yeah. So um, now, today up at Sharks Park. Sharks Park. Yeah, oh. Sharks Park. Uh, a little that? bit of history was made today. Oh really? Yeah. What happened? Yep. Yeah. Uh, well, there was uh, uh, the Coleman family. You see, Marky was playing in the Supers at 3 o'clock or whatever it was. And his girls yeah. were playing in the under 18s. The girls under 18s. They got a win. Did they? No. Oh. We came second, but only just. We played the Mighty Abbas. Getting better and better. We are. We kicked two goals. So history was made. We, we scored our first points. Who kicked it? And our inaugural ladies, girls. Girls. Goal kicker, yep. Rebecca Coleman. Marky's, number six. Number six. Marky's, um, Marky's uh, young daughter. Descendant of the Coleman family? The yes. Under the cloud from Essendon? I don't know. The other saga? John? That's, that's why that is. <laughs> but there you go. But it was very good just to... Uh, <laughs> Mark in the forward pocket, kicking down to the club room end. One of the Abbas girls infringed on the mark. Ooh. She got a 50 metre penalty, put her in the goal square. Some and snuck, snuck it in by about that part. But you know what? It didn't say, oh, go on, I just went bang straight through. I've seen someone miss one from close, <laughs> closer than that in the goal square. Yeah, you're saying. Did, did yeah. He, did he I'm actually him? looking at him now. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> actually, he was behind the goal on when he missed that. That's <laughs> how much he missed it, boy. Anyway. Sorry, Ruby. We had to bring it up again. Yeah, good on you, Rubes. Good. Now, now, now Doff's dead, right? So yeah. we're not playing this week because, uh, and I don't really understand why you have everyone in, in the. What do, you, what do you call it? the Strathmore Community Bank division mm. playing in an interleague? Mm. The other two divisions get a week off. Oh, I can't wait. I don't either. get it, but anyway. No one had a Div 1 made the team, and Cameron Cloak has made it in a division 2. Work that out. Yeah, and he won't turn up because he won't get paid for that. But anyway, <laughs> Dofstead. We're off to uh, Sewell Reserve, off to the cesspit that it is. Yeah. Uh, what's the there for that week? Well, I've got a challenge. Okay. And the challenge is to. Uh, yeah, great, mate. I hope you're not going to go soft, mate. Stephen you're... Jock Burns, listen up, toots. This is for you. I am daring you. I am daring you at our. Is it twelve? What time do we have our meeting? Twelve o'clock. Quarter past twelve. Quarter past. At your quarter past twelve meeting, I am daring you 
not to drop the f bomb once in that pre-game address. So hang on, the dare is for Jock not to swear in a, in a in a in a speech. And if he can hold his tongue. Well, listen, mate. Congratulations on your week off. There's <laughs> not a hope in the world that that's going to happen. Well, I'm trying to get back. Yeah. I'm trying to get the ledger back square because oh, I'm too zipped out of the present time. Yeah, I just want to remind you, mate, that's three zip. Is it? Yeah. No. Um, yeah. <laughs> so Jocker. Don't drop the F bomb, no swearing in your pre-game. There's no chance, mate. I can't wait. I'm going to have a week off. I can't wait. The only way there's not going to be a swear word in that pre-game is if you do it. If he does, someone else does it. There's not a true word. That 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 can't happen. Yeah. No. No. No Tessier. No bloody Williams. No bloody who else we got? No Denaro. No Davis. No. You got to. It has to be a Burns. Yes. Okay. Rita. We've brought you in. Oh, rubbish. Sure, she won't be that out for some reason. No, that's right. Um, uh, all right, pushing on. Okay. So Richard's uh, Richard's not going to, as we said earlier, Richard's gone. He's having a week off, and uh, he's going to have more than a couple of weeks off. Golden fist. Uh, golden fist this week. Mm. It's, a, it's a double fister. It's a double. It fister. was a double fister. By our mate, the great man T. Stone. Old Troy. Old Troy. Uh, and he and he left it. It right to the last minute, which is good. maybe it was a triple fister. Maybe. Uh, so Joe, we'll drop that video in. So the ball comes out of the back line from West Meadows. Out towards Mitchell Church, who had absolute leather poisoning. Yeah. Troy Stone. Bang! Yeah. Oh, bang again! And a two! Yeah. Double fister! And yeah. then the siren went, thank God, put us out of our bloody misery. <laughs> but Rod, right, he left it at the last minute, Stone. That's what yeah. he does. But yeah, double no, he fister. Does we all love a double fister. So T Stone, he's getting marked in the ones next week as well. As far as I'm concerned. Okay. Yeah. Um, so well, he, he, he's having selection. That week doesn't go for like, what, three days? Yeah. Right. <laughs> and we know which names not to bring up, don't we? No. No. That's right. Right. We're uh, sponsors. Yeah, so we cut it short. Just on the sponsors though. How good was it to have uh, Cheryl from Curl Surfwear out visiting us she on the weekend? Up, isn't it lovely yeah. to see her? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just went and been down there since Camperdown Cup Day. And yeah, came out to see the lads. Popped up, yeah. yeah. Gave us a bit of a kiss. Uh, the old brown hand was just sort of bopping around with the back of his UE boom speaker. Yeah, tipped him yeah. about 300 stubbies on Saturday night. Playing a couple of bit of drums with his fingers. <laughs> Such a great man, the big brown dog. D Sinclair was there. 24 hour telling he was there on the week. 0423 717 123. And the pig was there, but no one cares. Couldn't care less about that flog. Right, right. sponsors Scotty Jardine and his beautiful wife Renee in VU Fitness. They do envy me a lot. Yes, they <laughs> No, they don't. They'd like to get older you with me. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, jeez. Uh, what about our former assistant coach, Daniel Mott? Uh, regroup Logistics. Logistics. For all your freighting needs, go to Regroup Logistics. So, what, what are they just moved, uh, like? Spill trays around it. Mate, Moddy doesn't move. <laughs> he doesn't He just move. sits in his computer like that. That's what he does. <laughs> he picks up the spine and you go, no, I'm going to just imagine in the olden days, so I don't know how long you've known him, he just would have had that little bowl hair cut with a part in the middle or something. <laughs> I'll get hold of a picture, I reckon I'll know what he looked like. You reckon? All right. Yeah. And, um, well, Club Legends. So, Darren at Manton and his beautiful wife, Nick. Yeah. NAW Controls. For all your electrical uh, wholesale needs. For all your electrical spare parts needs. <laughs> That's all you need. You just gnaw down on one of those. That's all you need to do. Carol Wine, we are going to have the week off next week. I know. Uh, it's so, well overdue. Yeah, I know the viewers are craving for more, but. Mm. We just need to put the queue in the rack for a week and now we're going to have a spell. But, and then we'll be reporting back after uh, we get up to Sewell Reserve Sewell and hopefully Reserve. get the chockies and get our, get our season back on track. But four and one, second on the ladder on percentage, we're going okay. I'll be at Sewell Reserve, mate. Laptop under my arm. Yep. I'll be counting down to. 2.15. Absolutely. Caroline, absolute pleasure to be at the desk uh, with you again. Signing off on episode number bloody six, I think it is, isn't it? Bloody off it is now. Signing off from Shark TV.